How we going guys? The Loot Gamer over here and welcome to gaming on the iPhone 10. This game over here guys is called Dead Squared. It's a really interesting looking kind of game. It's a pretty big puzzle brain in case you guys love puzzles. And as you guys could tell this game was released today uh, version uh, you know 1.1 which was today, so it's pretty good to see that this is a brand new game for all those iPhone nerds that love that good gaming. So over here, as we could tell, we get some really nice previews of the game. It looks really, really interesting, and I wanted to see exactly what this game was about, because, man, look at look, just look at these screenshots. They look absolutely divine. So looking over here, we get the Dead uh, Squid, um, a puzzle game you can play alone or with your partner who says, I don't like playing games. So this is definitely catered to people that, that, that are not really crazy gamers. But it's 80 plus mind bending puzzles. So I really want to see some of these puzzles with you guys today. You can also customize your bots, which is nice to see. And we'll also get some robot explosions or so some cool sort of um, animations there. And here's what the press had to say. So people are loving this game. Let's see exactly how big this game is. This game is 345, uh, sorry, 364.5 megabytes. So it's a pretty big game. I want to say too big, but I reckon it's decent. Uh, so let's have a look over here. This cost me $10.99 Australian dollars. Pretty expensive, guys. I know. But in the US, it should be about $4.99. So let's just boot this up together and let's just experience it. So it's nice to see full screen on the iPhone 10. Okay. So we get greeted by a really nice uh, artwork here. So Dead Squared. Let's have a look at the uh, settings over here and see what we can adjust. So we can just um, adjust the language and the subtitles and that's just about it. Just music volume, FX volume and dialogue volume 2, nothing much. Let's go back to the story and let's see what we can get. So let's play the first uh, chapter over here. Morning Iris, how are you today? Good morning David, I am operating within parameters. And you? Oh, a bit tired Iris. I was up all night bidding on a 25 pound gummy bear. Iris, let's get started. Could you boot up Death Squared, please? Okay, David. Initiating Robotics Artificial Intelligence Test, number 538632. I'm just gonna rest my eyes for a second. Interesting. So let's check this game out, guys. Test subjects now. All right, we're gonna start off real simple here. Get to the circles, try not to die. Basically, so over here, as you can tell, when I point down, means uh, the blue bot will actually move. When I point to the right, the red bot will move. So let me get this uh, blue bot all the way to the circle. As you guys can see, it lights up. When it lights up, it means that it's all ready. So let me get the red dude all the way to the circle. These are very sensitive, guys, so you got to be careful. Oh, nice and easy. All right, circle's done. Next. All right. Ugh, I need coffee. Iris, is the coffee machine working? Scanning Omnicorp break room. Only decaf is available, David. Decaf? Ah, forget it. Oh, shit. So every time when I move down, uh, my red bot there has actually been moved, as you guys can see. So I've got to move him. Oh, shit. He's about to die. So as you can tell, he's about to die there. So I've got to actually move him up. So let me move my blue bot up a bit. AI's attained. Five percent test oh, shit. before exploding. So let me move my red bot maybe that side over here. So when I move him, let me move him there. Beautiful. So when I move him, you guys could see all the traps over here are actually highlighted. So let me move uh, this blue dude down. Oh shit, that was close. I move him down. As you guys could tell, it's so sensitive. So if I move my finger too fast, it will actually you know fold down so let me just move him down here all right and as you guys can tell the more I move him he's gonna go so I'll move this dude to the left over here and move this guy up oh yeah there we go that was on easy next how the hell am I gonna sort this Omnicorp Directive ED209 this morning. Yes, Iris. I went to the bathroom before I came to work. So I'm going to have to move this blue dude to, to the blue circles. Let me move him. This is so hard, guys. Like, this is sensitive as hell. So let me try and move him. Okay. 
as you guys can tell, the bomb's over there, so he won't be able to move. So I'm gonna move him more, more down. I move him there, and then move this dude over here a bit down. Yikes! Shit. Okay, so when I moved uh, that bot, what happened was okay. Cool. Let me move this dude back. Alright, I'm gonna move him a bit more. All I can say, guys, is this game is really enjoyable. Beautiful. I'm gonna move this dude over here, maybe. Let's see how far you could go. Okay. Cool. So I should be able to move the blue guy back to the other place. Let's see what happens. Can I do it? There we go. Yay, I did it, guys. All right. Initializing customization module. Hey, Iris. Ten Omni credits says Red chooses mustache. Okay, let's have a look here. So, all right, Red chooses mustache. So let's have a look here. So what am I supposed to do? So on this side is Red. So I'll move forward. Mustache. As you can see, there's a mustache sign there. So what I got to do on the blue side, okay, let's have a look. Different face. Hmm. Let me try to go all the way there. All right, now with the red dude over here. How am I gonna match? Can I just pick anyone? Like, what's the what's the deal here? That is the two hundred and thirty ninth time you have been incorrect, David. Ten Omni credits has been reduced from your pay. <laughs> okay. Next puzzle. New lasers, Iris? Yes, David. The old units showed a drastic decrease in photon amplification toward the end of their life cycle. Uh, a drastic decrease in the what now? Simplifying language. <coughs> the old lasers weren't zappy enough. Oh, right, of course. You have to have the right amount of zap. Very scientific. Oh, very shit. Important. All right, I'm a bit confused. How am I going to do this? So, with the blue, when I go up like this... I can't even come here. All right. Uh, okay, so I can go that way. This is so weird. All right, cool. Let's try to figure this out. Let me try to use the red one first and see. Oh, shit. Okay. So maybe I'm supposed to use this blue thing over here to move. No, I can't move it, so. Oh, shit. So I've probably got to use the blue guy first. So how is this going to work? Like, how do I even... Can I tap these lasers? Can't do nothing to the laser. All right, now let me move this dude. Oh, so every time I move, this laser moves. Okay, I did not even notice that. All right, so I've got to move down so oh and every time I move this guy that guy moves damn so every time I move each character the, the lasers move so I gotta really think and be smart now alrighty guys I think I figured this out I've had to play this a couple of times so every time I move this dude over here that red laser moves at the bottom so what I'll do is I'll move this guy over here I'll place him there and then I'll move my red dude here as you can tell the laser is moving so I'll place him here and then I'll probably just make him go all the way to that and then I may move uh, this blue dude over here on top of him just like that there we go but yeah we go guys the game is really beautiful hey, Iris, uh, what are your prime directives Directive 1, hmm. serve Omnicorp. Directive 2, protect the testing sequence. Directive 3, uphold look. testing protocols. Nothing there about protecting humans, Ooh. like me? No, David. Level 1 testing technicians are considered expendable by Omnicorp management. Oh, boy. 
Well, remind me never to get on your bad side. Okay, so over here it seems that um, I want to have to think of a way of stopping this thing. So, oh, so the more forward I go, the worse it becomes. So if I move down, maybe I could do that. Then I want to have to think of a way. No. Okay, so I want to think of a way of manipulating this laser guy out of my way. So if I move this dude all the way to the back there, and then I'll go straight. And then maybe move this dude over here. Maybe to go around. I don't know whether this is going to help. And then if I do this. No. Oh, man. Another brain brain teaser, guys. All right, guys. I think I figured this out. So what I got to do, I think I've got to move this dude over here. Right by him like this. And then I'm going to move this guy here around in, in a circle. So I'll move him like this. And I'll move this guy right behind him like that. So I don't get hurt by the laser. So I'll keep on moving my character over there. And then he will just go all... Maybe I'll move him down. And then I'll move him straight like that. So I won't get hurt. And I'll move this guy over there. I'll move him all the way there. I'd be rich right now. Woo! That was hard. All right, guys. I think I'll just leave it there for you guys. So okay, this is a no. game. You guys know the drill. This is a game, Death Squared, guys. I would definitely recommend it. Definitely worth it for me. But thanks, guys, for watching this video. I am the Loot Gamer. If you guys really enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and a like because I want to give you guys some more good content. And if you guys enjoyed it, you guys know what to do. And I'll see you guys on my next video.